What's going on everyone? It's Jaren from Jarenism, back with another video for you today. Well, I finally saw it. After trying to film the ISS at least two dozen times, uh, zoomed in, zoomed out, different settings, and I could never capture the shape. But the other night, I finally did. It took place on May the 29th. It was the night of the full moon at 2.13 a.m. I had a lunar transit all lined up, and if you want to find the same for somewhere near you, what you need to do is go to transit-finder.com. You put in your location and you'll get back a list of solar and lunar passes. They're pretty rare, but you might find one or two a month for your location. So I found one for mine. It was on the full moon. I thought that was a pretty good time to get it. And here's some info so that you can see. And everything seemed to line up perfectly with what the info said as far as the uh, time of transit being a little less than one second. Uh, everything seemed to line up perfectly, even the direction, everything. So here we have a video of me just uh, prepping to watch it. Here we are, it's about 2.10 in the morning. And we're about to watch the ISS cross. I've never seen the shape of the ISS. So we're about to see how real that is. Check back with you momentarily. So all in all, I felt pretty good about seeing it. I knew that the moon was gonna keep moving, so I had to plan ahead a little bit just make sure that I wasn't moving it during that minute period of time that it would be crossing and then uh, got the camera steady and ready for the transit. My alarm went off on my phone and I knew I had 10 seconds I counted down in my head 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 I remember waiting like what and then sure enough there it was. So it was within two or three seconds of what time it was supposed to I think and here we go, we're gonna watch it again, this time at 50% speed. Go ahead and see it, uh, if you don't see it, starting about two o'clock and ending around eight. Again, now we're watching it at 75% speed. And finally, we'll watch it at a super slow-mo 10% speed. Starting around two and ending around eight o'clock. After this, I'll go ahead and zoom in so we can get a little closer look. And it was confirmed that the ISS is at least taking the shape that it's supposed to. Now again, I've shown before that this uh, could be easily faked by somebody who wanted to fake it. Uh, I have no uh, need to fake it. This is a actual video. And here we can see it as close as basically I can get. And it looks to be the shape of the ISS. Uh, does it look a little weird? Yeah, I mean, does it look like a blob? Yeah, uh, but I have no reason to doubt that whatever is flying in the sky has the shape that the ISS is supposed to have. Now, one thing I did do, just because I wanted to kind of verify it a little bit further, is I took this particular image of the ISS or supposed ISS and the first thing I did was I uh, chroma keyed it to take out all of the black and now you see that and I, I put it in front of the moon and then I was able to reduce the size and get it down to the same size as the blob crossing spun it turned it the right way and overlaid it it certainly looks to be the correct dimensions um, of the ISS, fit right over it, just like that. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. That's interesting. 